Welcome in, welcome in, my ass bad party people. You ever look at a problem like this and say, uh, what? <laughs> so in this video, we're gonna be going over how to tackle problems like this where we're connecting two indirect ideas. So I'm gonna show you how to get this done, but before I do, please make sure to consider the All Access program if you wanna get all the help that you need in terms of all of the recordings, all of the extra practice problems to build confidence, you know, access to me to help you lower test anxiety, go through study plans and strategies, and the potential for one-on-one -on -one tutoring as well. So go ahead and check that out. If you wanna text me real quick, pause the video right now. That way you can get my number, shoot me a text, but let's get to the action. So a square with a perimeter of 100 centimeters has an area of what? Okay, so here's the thing, my party people. One of the things that we have to make sure that we do here, one of the things that we have to make sure we do is understand what the goal is. If you don't know what the goal is, then it's so much harder to actually understand how the information connects. So that's the biggest thing that I get. The biggest issue that I hear all day, every day is, well, how do I know what I'm supposed to do? Well, do you know what you're supposed to find, right? Do you know what the goal is? And so the goal here is, has an area of what? Okay, so we're looking for area. So what do we want? We want the area. And the moment that we say area, we have to ask ourselves, what shape? Is this a circle, rectangle, triangle, square? What is this? And so the problem states clearly that we're dealing with a square. So we're looking for the area of a square. And the one thing that we know, the one thing that we have to know is that if we want the area of a square, think about your formulas. The formula for a rectangle is length times width. A square is a rectangle, it's the same stuff. It's just all the sides are the same. So the area of a square is side times side. As always, my Mazvab party people, thank you for watching this video. Before we continue, just wanted to remind you that if you're struggling with the ASVAB, if you struggle with test anxiety, blanking out on problems, then you need to consider the ASVAB All Access program. Thousands of my students have tried it out and they have always raised their scores if they use it the right way. Because there's always a way to learn for whatever method you like best from recorded lessons, to live classes, to guided practice videos, to printable worksheets, to speed drills to help you test and raise your confidence and speed, to casual practice that comes with video solutions. Every single way that you can think of, over 10,000 questions, all of it lined up for you, ready for you to get started right now. So at the very least, check out the link in the description so you can see exactly how it works and why again, over a thousand of my students have raised their scores with it all the way through. I'm proud of you, let's keep working hard, and let's get back to the video. But don't forget, check out that program. I think you'll like it. Okay, cool. Now, how does that help? Well, the reason that this helps is because we now know that no matter what, if we can get the side of this particular square, we're good. Because we just do side times side and we're done. So that's the idea. Understand what you're looking for so you can understand what you need. That's the thing about geometry. With geometry, every single piece of information is connected, every piece. So with that, how do we find the side of the square? Well, let's go ahead and first take down our information. Let's first take a look at our information. So our information states that this square has a perimeter of 100 centimeters. Okay, sounds good. Perimeter, which is different than area, the perimeter equals 100 centimeters. So, I'm gonna ask myself real quick, do I have the side given to me? Because again, I just need the side. I just need the side. Is that given to me? No, they didn't say side directly. But is there something about the perimeter that will give me the side? Remember, when you draw a square out, let's just go ahead and draw it out right here. If we draw a square, the perimeter of the square is side plus the side plus the side plus the side, four of the sides together, all four sides added up, that's the perimeter. So the perimeter is the same thing as side, 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 added together, or four times the side, right? Multiply the side by four. So we have four times the side equals 100. Why is that important? Again, if we get the side, we can plug it in, and solve the problem. So you see where I'm going with this? It's not about 
instantaneously seeing the answer. It's really about understanding what you have and its relationship to what you want. That's why my three-step strategy for word problems is always, what do you want? What do you have? What's the connection? So we want the area, we need the side, we have the perimeter, which we can use to find the side. Let's do it now, plug it back in, and we'll solve. So with that said, my party people, zooming on in right here, if we divide both sides by four, we see that our side is going to be equal to 25. 25 centimeters but that is not the answer okay that is not the answer that is simply going to be the length of the side so we have the side length right there 25 centimeters and now we're going to plug that in so the answer will be 25 times 25 that will be the answer and so if you need to use your uh you know long multiplication for this sure go ahead the answer is going to be 625 but either way if you didn't know that at the top of your head all you have to do is multiply here and you're good Remember my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself, see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free. So go ahead and click the link there or in the description that way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. So five times five is 25, carry the two. Two times five is 10, carry the two is 12. Now, up next, we're gonna go ahead and take care of the other side here. So we're gonna drop that zero, and now we have five times two, that's gonna be 10. Two times two, four plus one is five. So we're gonna add that together. We're gonna to have five, two, six. So we're gonna have 625 square centimeters, just like that. And so boom, there it is. Our answer is C, but let's not forget how we got there. Really, again, the way that we got there was again, what do we want? We want the area of this square. Well, what do we have? It's perimeter. Is there any way that we can go from the perimeter to the area? Yeah, the area needs the side of the square. The perimeter uses the side of the square. And so we use the perimeter to get the side, use the side to get the area, we're done. So again, it's really like a small little puzzle. You gotta get through it that way. And so again, if you're looking for more ASVAB help, I got your back. If you wanna be able to text me whatever you want, if you wanna send me problems and you, know, you want me to help you out with them, get all of my extra problems with video solutions for math and English and general science, and again, reach out to me, ask me about the all access program. That way I can hook you up, let you know everything that you're gonna get with it. I can send you a link as well. It'll probably be in this post somewhere too, but just shoot me a text, shoot me an email, whatever you need to do to get things going. I got your back all day. And so again, I'm Anderson, I'm your ASVAB coach. I'll see you in the next video and I'll see you in class. Let's go. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.